Hey guys, real quick, okay, real quick, uh, let me just go through a fast review of how much we did and how fast it really took without all the description, because I just want to show, okay? We went to, uh, and this is easiest done on Firefox, this is where I did this before, the SK Tool page. Did a search for some keywords that we were after. In other words, I went with this. That's some websites, right? Uh, go with phrase, uh, type this in, I fun, D E and C 10 cent and I went like that and then I did I realized this number was small so I did global monthly searches click on that and now I see building websites is pretty big disregard the double quotes it's just what it does so you can tell the difference between phrase exact and broad okay then it shows you the same thing in three different ways but in any case there we go and what I want to do now that I know the website I want was what let me get rid of the things that are throwing me off here I was after the phrase yeah building websites so I went ahead and close out of that at this point I may as well do this in Internet Explorer and what am I looking for and that's where I did this bit to figure out where I, what I was after see if I could find one that didn't exist and I just kind of went through some different variations until I found one that looks like it doesn't exist so now what do you do go to moji-crew.com and come down here to the resources button and then click on the host monster link up here click on that and then get started and create a new account and in this case I created one called Moji Pro because that's what I sell anyway it's gonna tell me it's in use I'd have to go with Moji Pro 2 right <laughs> I'm not gonna get that I got mojipro.com and the Moji Pro or Moji-Pro.com if you have RoboForm just fill it in really quick and easy then decide whether you're doing 12 months or 24 or what who cares about that and then just enter in your credit card info if it's not in your robo form and just confirm and hit next and then create the password and log into the account just keep track of your data but you don't really need to because they're gonna send you an email with all your information anyway then what do you do you go into FTP this is what we've learned so far right you go into FTP and you create that particular account which I did and that was with one called Moji Pro if I hit edit you can see the details I just gave it a name I would recognize in the site name the host address of course is ftp.mojipro.com you cannot log in as an anonymous user but you can log in with the real username that host monster assigned you for your account which in my case was this and the password that I created for the account which is the same for FTP same thing for logging into the host monster control panel I can log into FTP and that way I can connect to it right shoom and test it and make sure it works which it does there's my public HTML folder and inside there I just have some default stuff and a couple of extra things because I was playing around inside that particular account now what do I need to do if I refresh this you can see I did not create a subfolder for the other domain I bought at the same time so let's go do that now that was the other thing we did let's just go to host monster directly we're gonna leave the page control panel login and I've got just a bunch of these so let me go with that one and log in and when I get in there I don't need to create an email and mojipro.com is obviously the main so the dash version is gonna be the subdomain in this case so let me cancel why even create subdomains that just keeps information in order that's where you have different domains selling different things and you're keeping them keeping all your information in different spots Google kind of sees as one big domain though so usually whatever you put on one big server you're trying to keep limited to one or two different projects and that's about it you can do more there are actually ways to do a lot better yeah I'll show you in a minute but now this is unassigned so let me just hit the link to assign it and it's the one with the dash moji dash pro.com that's the only choice I have because it's the only thing left to assign and I, it's going to be an add-on in the bottom. I don't want it to be Moji Pro. That'll confuse me later. I want it to be Moji Dash Pro so I can keep track. That way I know it's representing Moji-Pro.com. But there's the folder, Moji-Pro. And it would naturally create the subdomain Moji-Pro.MojiPro.com, which I don't really need to know or care about. 
Okay, I'm going to add the domain. And again, I got to wait for them to actually get it done and update all the DNS and everything else. So it'll take a while, but you've seen everything you need to see there. So as soon as this is done refreshing, guess what I can do? I can go into my FTP and look to see when it creates that folder. I can connect to Moji Pro public HTML. That's nice. Look at this. When you use particular um, directories often, they usually usually show up in the drop down for the main thing. Okay. All right. So here we go. Public HTML. If I refresh it. Yep. Now there's this new folder with new files inside of it. Right. And that's for my other domain. That way I can upload information to the main domain here and make all these pages I want, this big website on the main domain, then separately I can go into the sub and make all the domains I want, or all the web pages I want in here to make a second massive website. Okay, that also points in at the same website. Now somebody asked the question, what's the difference between that and having different servers? Well, aside from cost, uh, Google tends to add up all the backlinks with subdomains like this, almost the same worth as if they just came off of one big fat domain, which is really what it is. This other domain is just sort of a shortcut link to a subfolder. That's almost it, but you can put other stuff in there, whatever else you want. You can host all kinds of different programs in these different folders. That is true. Um, but uh, if you were going to create 4,000 pages and your choice was either to put 4,000 pages on one domain, or put a thousand pages on each of four entirely different domains on different servers, that's kind of what that means, different $85 a year accounts, then those four different servers are the ones with dedicated IP addresses, and that's where you can remember about the options for dedicated IP addresses. Those can be worth, it's worth more to have a thousand pages on this domain, a thousand on that, a thousand on that, and a thousand on that, than it is to have all 4,000 on one domain. However, with that said, it's better to have 4,000 pages on each domain than just 1,000 pages on each domain. So yeah, always pretty much try to maximize um, your usage of every domain as you come to it, you know, whatever you have access to. And really, a thousand pages, even four thousand pages, is just a drop in the bucket. But our tool makes it so easy to create extremely huge sites that you don't care. <laughs> so there you go. All that stuff is pretty much set up. That's all we taught you how to do so far. You should kind of understand it by now. It, to some degree, it should make a little sense to you. And so I'm just going to go ahead and log out of here. I don't need anything else. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close out. And sure enough, now I have four domains for our big project. So we're going to create four profiles. And all these profiles I have here for domains I have access to right now. And I'm going to create more for you guys to see how this works. And you're going to see what's going on. That's what we're going to do next. And we're going to do four big websites. That'll make it really easy for you to understand how the Moji Pro works and works in different environments. And from there, we'll go on to the batch files for automating the whole thing so your computer can do all of this for you every Wednesday at 2 a.m., if you so say. And it will just wake the computer to run the task, put 1,000 or 2,000 or 4,000 or 10,000 pages up on every domain you have that you want to use for these backlinking runs. And then it will put your computer back to sleep. All this happens while you're in bed, sound asleep. Your computer is doing its job, which is what computers are supposed to do. And that's what we're doing, setting up these massive self-perpetuating uh, websites that upload new pages here and there. So Google sees you keep up with your websites, it adds more value, gets you in front of more keywords, and it does it while you're not even here. Although, for those who ask, what if it's running while you are here? Can you work around it? The answer is yes. You can easily minimize everything and work completely around it. It's a piece of cake. All right, so in the next video, we're going to actually do the work. Okay.